Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to configure Auto Cascade in Test Data Management. I am going to show you how to configure Auto Cascade, how to create logical primary key, how to create logical foreign key, and about major and minor constraints. What is Auto Cascade? An Auto Cascade masks a primary key in a parent table and related foreign keys in child tables with the same value. In this demo, I am going to use Airline Database. It has got uh, two tables, one is a customer table and the other one is the address table. The customer table is going to be my parent table and uh, I have got a primary key column which is customer ID and I have this table address and uh, I have a column customer ID in this table and I have created a foreign key on this customer ID column referencing to the parent table customer on, on customer ID column. Now that we have created the constraints in the database I'm going to show you in ILM Workbench how the constraints show up. So I go to my customer table and the columns tab I see that the primary key type over here as physical. What it means is that uh, the primary key has been already created in the database. So when you import the table into ILM Workbench it's going to show as physical. So now I go to my child table address and go to constraints. I see that there is a foreign key on customer ID column referencing to customer table. If you see over here it has got the input type as physical. What it means is that the foreign key has been already created in the database and when you import the table you see the constraint already created in ILM workbench. Now that you have all the constraints created on the parent and child tables you can go ahead and assign the rule for masking the customer ID column. So I go to the customer table and uh, choose the customer ID column and I'm going to assign a rule to mask this customer ID. And now when you try to create a plan and generate workflow and run the workflow to mask this customer ID column in the customer table, it's going to automatically mask the customer ID column in the address table. This is how the auto cascade configuration is done. The sample tables that I showed you already had the constraints in the database. What if my tables doesn't have constraints in the database? Say suppose I have a table ticket and I want to create a primary key, the logical primary key. You can go to the columns tab and say suppose I, I want to create a primary key on this ID number which is nothing but SSN number. So you select the column and click create logical primary key and you will see that a logical key primary key has been created for this column. Say suppose you want to delete this uh, key constraint you can select that column and uh, go to remove logical primary key and now you can see that the primary key constraint got deleted for this column. Now I am going to show you how to create a logical foreign key. Say ticket coupon is my child table and the ticket is my parent table. Okay, I am going to create a logical foreign key in the ticket coupon table. So you go to constraints and in the right hand side you have 
the icon create new constraint click on it give a name and uh, select the parent table so in this case ticket table is going to be my parent table click ok click next here you see all the columns from child table and the parent table listed I'm going to create a foreign key on ticket number so I'm selecting the ticket number and you click on the link to link these two columns you hit finish you'll see a logical foreign key created in ILM workbench now I'm going to show you uh, how to create foreign key using major and minor constraints and what is this major and minor constraint means so when you create the foreign key you have the option severity level here you have two options either to select major or minor starting from uh, TDM 951 we have the feature to place filter anywhere in the entity map in the screen below you see a entity map and uh, this shows you the parent child relationship in this uh, entity map you can place filter anywhere either in the child table or on the parent table so when you place a filter on the child table you have two options either a major or minor option to select for fetching the records to show you the difference between the major and minor constraints I'm going to use the table header which is going to be the parent table and the line table which is going to be my child table say suppose I'm going to apply filter on line ID say where line ID equal to A3 when you choose the major constraint it's going to fetch the child record and since uh, this table is associated with header table it's going to bring the header ID information 1001 so you see the 1001 information in header table and the A3 record in the child table and again it's going to go back to the child table and get all the other information related to the header ID 1001 that's how you see all the information related to 1001 in the child table when you use the minor constraint and uh, you apply a filter on the lines uh, uh, table which is the child table uh, it's going to bring the A3 record in the child table and it's going to go to the header table and bring the information 1001 over to the header table and it's going to stop there it's not going to traverse back to the child table again so far uh, we have seen how to configure auto cascade how to create logical primary key how to create logical foreign key and about major and minor constraints thanks for watching this video